Hi guys, good evening. I am going to attempt my very first process video. Let's make sure that we're straight here. Yes, we are. So wish me good luck because <laughs> I am going to need it. I am going to turn these guys into this. Well, not exactly this, um, but I'm going to show you how I got the wording off the glass and how I took it apart, how easy it is, how simple it is, and how it takes no time at all. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is flip it over. It has this cardboard backing on here and you just take it off. It's just glued on with some simple double-sided tape. No big deal, you just wanna remove that backing. So we're gonna remove it here. And underneath this, you're gonna find the frame. simple, right? Toss that, throw that away. I do have my pokey tool here that lifts up the, um, to help me lift up these metal prongs that holds that down. I'm going to set this guy to the side here. Now what I have here, my pokey tool, I have a, um, paper towel with Windex on it, ready to go. I have a sander that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. Um, anything, a nail filer, anything like that will work. And then I have somewhere to put the sequins. So I'm gonna lift up these metal prongs with this little pokey tool so I don't hurt my nails. You could use your nails, but my nails aren't that tough. My nails are not that tough at all. <laughs> Lifting up these prongs. Oh, the dead silent isn't fun. How are you guys doing? Let me know down below. Is everyone feeling okay? I hope so, man. So far, our family's doing A-OK. -okay. So then I'm going to lift up this cardboard piece, and it's going to ex expose the sequins. You have your um, the picture that was in the frame, and then your cardboard piece. Now, obvious, you just dump out the sequins. Hopefully, and I don't make a mess here. Not a fan of the orange sequins, to be honest with you, but we'll go ahead and put them in my stash while I throw them away or waste them. Clean these up here. Hopefully, maybe, maybe not. I'm going to behave or you're going to make a fool out of me. <laughs> Get your little butts over here. Man, this mat is heavy. We got a lot of sequins there, so I'm not going to put the rest in the, in the container. Close this up, and I do keep my sequins in um, individual containers. I got this, I believe, at Harbor Freight. They're only like five or six bucks. And then here's the purple sequin mix from the last one that I made. I'll go ahead and just throw those in there. I can organize that later. Put that to the side. Now, I want to show you why I have this open. The coolest thing about this, it already has the foam here on the side to help keep your sequins in place. Got a little straggler here. So that's kind of cool. It, it gives you to lift that cardboard up to give you the space between the glass and the cardboard piece. Um, I would say that's probably about an eighth of an inch there. Now, as you can see, we have the writing on the glass, right? So that's where your sand, sander comes in. You just take this guy, and I literally just not much pressure at all. Let me set this down so it's easier. Hopefully you guys can see. Not much pressure at all. You just go and sand that word right off. Um, it comes off fairly easy, to be honest with you. I wasn't sure how I was going to get the word off of the other one. And I, you guys, I'm not applying hardly any pressure at all. Look. We're almost there, guys. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? I love this. I think this is such a cute way to display someone's photo, make a little bit of interactive with it being a shaker. So as you can see, we got the dust from the word. Don't know if the camera's picking that up or not. And then that's where your Windex comes in with your paper towel. I'm just going to clean that glass off now. Now that it's completely scraped off, make sure that I have all that wording scraped off. Just clean up the, the powder that it left behind. Looks like I got a little bit of wording left right here. So go ahead and sand that off. Or is that on the outside? Oh, that's on the outside. 
<laughs> Silly. Okay, so we're going to clean the glass, make sure it's nice and squeaky clean. All those yuckies off there. Now, I did sanitize this stuff before I brought it in my home. And I'm going to clean the front as well. Swipe it down real good. And the edges. Now, my project that I'm working with does not have orange in it at all. So I'm going to go ahead and just remove this ribbon. Just pull it off there. And the staples came right out. So now what I'm left with is a plain Jane frame. <laughs> And I could turn it into anything I want. And this is how the other one turned out. And I will come back and I'll show you guys what I did um, with this one. I do have a, I have a plan with this guy right here. But I don't think I'm going to be able to share this one with you guys because it is going to have a personal photo in it. And I don't know if that person would like for me to share them on the internet or not. Um, but... I will do the unicorn one for my niece and I will show that one with you guys. But I mean, just think about it. This is endless. You could do anything with this. At this point, you're with a blank canvas that cost you a buck. And maybe what took me two or three minutes to get it all cleaned up and geared and ready to go. Now, the one thing I will say, I did use my embossing um powder like baby powder so that it would flow better and I'm anxious to make sure everything's flat to the back of the paper so the shakers will flow better as well but I can do my own sequin mix I can put anything in there like I said the sky's the limit I don't know I have never seen a shadow box that's under the price of ten dollars never I've never 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 seen one and this little guy is less is a buck a buck and then less than two to three minutes. See, you could still, I don't, right there. You can see where the word was, but unless you're looking for it dead on and after it's decorated, you'll never know that it was there. So yeah, I hope you guys liked that video and let me know what you think down below. Are you going to give it a shot? A shadow box for a dollar? A shadow box for a buck? You can't beat it. But thanks for stopping by and let me know, did I do okay for my first process video? <laughs> <laughs> Give me some tips down below, okay, ladies and gents? All right, guys. I hope you take care and everyone say, stay healthy and stay safe. And I'll talk at you soon. Bye-bye.